What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be pretty special guys. Uh, Dad found his first class ring and the class ring had a name on the side so we might be able to return it. Right now we're still on pace for a thousand subscribers by the end of uh, our YouTube year so that's pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We're at a place that was known encampment for uh, Civil War. I got a coin here. I can see the corner edge of it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm thinking it's going to be a small copper, probably like a some kind of a penny. Don't know if it's a uh, weedy or I'm hoping an Indian, but I'm not sure. I haven't got it out of there yet. Okay, I'm seeing a blinking. So it's telling me it's definitely not a we uh an Indian. Okay, it is one cent. You might be able to see it on camera there. It says one cent. So we know it's gonna be a wheat penny. Um looks like nineteen forty seven. I'll clean it up for the roundup a little bit better and get back with it. Alright guys, so I was digging in this hole right here and uh, I was getting about a 19 on the uh, Equinox 600 and what came out was this. Feels kind of cool. It's, it's heavy, it's got some weight to it, but I started poking these holes out. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to finish poking these holes out and we can get a better look at it. Alright, so after cleaning it out kind of almost looks like a wheel I don't not a real wheel of course but like a fake one like on a toy car or something but either way it's kind of cool that or like old time footage film thingy yeah, I almost thought it was a cylinder to a gun there for a minute but it would have to be longer than just that this could be something awesome or it could be just me hoping it's awesome but it was only I don't know two inches deep in the hole it come out looking like a coin but it's not a coin I see a top on it here there you go maybe a big necklace I don't know just yet oh coming up on those goldish looking colors Oh wow, starting to really shine there. We'll have to clean that up for the roundup, maybe, hopefully. It's got some kind of cool saying on it, or something like that, but it definitely goes to a necklace or something like that. Looks like a pretty decent little find. All right guys, so I've been on this hole for probably about the last 20 minutes and something told me to just keep going. Uh, I was getting a nice signal. And finally, after a little bit of Dad's help, I was able to find what looks to be a coin. But the cool thing about it, it's not just one coin. There's three coins here stuck together. Right there is one that just fell in the hole. And then right here is two more. You can see as they was all stuck together, they all got that green patina to them. Let's see if they're, ah, uh, that's just a memorial. Probably. and a memorial but still it was still pretty cool to find them all stacked together like like that all right here's one of my don't ask me why but one of my favorite finds when I find them it's a spoon and you can see there's the the barrel of the spoon but there's so many different types of spoons and there's so many different styles you never know what you're pulling out of the ground 
It's down there. Got some really good designs up around the, the rim here. I'll clean that up later on. And that might be a pretty little spoon. All right, so I found a pretty deep signal, guys. Uh, I mean, she, that's probably about 10 inches deep right there with the uh, Equinox. It was giving a faint little beep beep. So, dug my hole, and before I even start cleaning out the plug, I see the coin right here right there so it's old too buddy oh, oh yes it's real old man <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can't oh yes clean this up and see what it is but uh i don't want to rub it too much guys but we're going to clean it up later and hopefully we can find out kind of looks like a large scent again i think it is so that's my second one and two week or in a week so I'll take that let's clean it up though all right Jordan don't like these finds I think they're cool here's my second spoon you can see the bowl here you gotta get it out of there I don't know what it's gonna look like and of course there's a big old rock and to get neat stuff you gotta have spoons and that's an old one there, right there. You're looking, you're probably looking at an 1800s spoon, probably. It's got a beautiful design on it. You can see the flower coming up. I can't wait to clean that one up. That's going to be a nice one. Second spoon. I got a pretty good, cool looking find here. I'm seeing a, a some kind of a maybe a necklace kind of thing and then I'm looking it looks like a ring I'm not sure exactly yet we're gonna find out together oh my goodness gracious you gotta be kidding me. This is a bucket lister for sure. Oh man. We're here in a park. I'm trying to be a little discreet about it, but this here is pretty awesome. Class ring. Guy's name on it, 2003. Still has the pretty stone in it. It still has the caked mud in it oh yes even feels like it has roots in it starting to grow in it oh this is one of my big bucket listers big time see if it has any initials inside the ring there's something inside the ring I'm not sure if it's going to be initials or not. Yes, it's got initials in it. So hopefully, maybe, you can see us returning this ring to the rightful owner. What's up, Hello. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Is it cool if we video? Yeah, that's cool. All right, done talk to him. Cool. What's up, man? Oh, well, like I said, we're Aqualand okay. Relics, so. Okay. This is what we try to do. Okay. Try to reunite people with stuff, right? Stuff like that. So, but uh, you say you lost this what? Fifteen years it's been ago. Fifteen years. Wow. Because yeah. it was only, well, I guess, about three inches deep in the ground, and it was down at uh, uh, the pavilion, like by the, where the play sets and stuff are. Oh, uh, you know where the little kid stuff yeah. is? That pavilion right there. Okay. But here it is. I mean, this is. I don't know what to say because like all the construction that's went on down mm -hmm. there and. All the times the park is flooded right and to think that it's still there after all these years yeah. it just it's cool i can't say if it's in good shape yeah, or bad i can't shape. imagine what it looks like <laughs> <laughs> was it attached to a necklace or anything yes and the necklace okay. is still with it okay so here it is oh my goodness <laughs> you dug it up just like this yeah well no i cleaned it up i got pictures of it what it looked like in the ground 
That is so cool. That was the first picture I seen of it when it came okay. on the ground. That is unbelievable. And to think that I've taken my kids down there a yep. thousand times. And probably, probably stepped there, almost stepped, stepped right on it. Yep. Probably a hundred times. Yep. You know, lost the canal apple days. One of the things where right? we were walking around like, holy crap, I lost my necklace. Mm. And then you go to try to look for it, but there's so many people down there. Right. And then after so long, you just kind of accept the fact that you'll never yeah. get it back. But all these years that it's been found, 15 years. Yep. Okay, <laughs> that was so, pretty cool. And, so and like, cool. I, like I told him, I said, you know, with all the people that detect, there's a lot of people that detect down there. Yeah. And to find that still, right, you know, I was pretty shocked. And it's in yeah. mint condition. Yeah. Yeah. It is. You know, I can't believe this. Yeah. Yeah, this is great, man. I yep. don't know what to say. Do yeah. I owe you anything? No, no, no dude. awesome. No, yeah. this is what we do, I man. I just can't believe this. Yep. Thank you. No Appreciate problem. it. <laughs> All right, guys. Class ring. That was definitely one of the top three on my bucket list. I've always wanted to find a class ring. I've always wanted to be able to return a class ring. It worked out great. We had a good time. Um, he was in the park. I was just goofing around with his detector. He's got this the mine layup 600 and I'm used to using the AT Pro so went down just having a little bit of fun with it. But this machine is such good with the recovery speed. It's amazing. I've hit this spot many a times and probably hard to tell how many other people has hit this spot many a times. You know as you've seen in the video he was amazed you know because this area gets flooded out a lot you know and just a lot of different things you know and, and it was right there. It was great. We had a good time. Uh, take one off my bucket list. Me and Jordan, we've been going at it this weekend. We've had a long weekend. There'll be some good video coming up here in the next couple weeks. We already got probably two weeks worth of videos. So there's some good content coming out, guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell there. That'll give you every time we put out a video. Who knows, maybe we'll sneak a video in the middle of the week sometime. How many likes do we want to hit? How many likes on this video? Yeah. Mm, let's get 20 likes and I'll tell you what will happen. Our next, uh, we're going to do a challenge here coming up real soon. But I'm ready. I think you're going down. You think? I, we'll find I out. think we should do a shooting each other with the airsoft. How about it? Maybe, uh, you know, shooting you in the back with an airsoft. 20 yards. All right. Deal. What? Ah. Oh. <laughs> We'll have to. We, we're, we don't know on the challenge yet, but we're we're thinking about it.